Good morning, Soul Family. Tracy here with Sweet Spot E-Magazine. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Thank you for... Amanda, thank you so very much for that super thanks. Thank you for the subscribes, the views, the likes, the shares, the comments, the emails. I appreciate everyone. Let's just jump in and see what the message is that Spirit has for us today. Let's go ahead and ring the bell, clear the energy, and see what that's talking about. But before this, let me go ahead and turn on this fan real quick. Thank you. All right. Somebody's crying, y'all. They're crying. Baby, baby, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Somebody's crying. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we got the Hierophant. Could have been a re committed relationship, but could have been something that could have been about a business. It's about a relationship. It was about a committed relationship that someone or, or a relationship that someone needed to be honest and true and committed and dedicated. But they weren't. They were not. They lied. They had a lot of toxic energy. And, th and they lied about their emotional availability. Someone lied about their emotional availability. But I think that lie caught up with them because it wasn't that they were even really emotionally available they were just trying to come in with an offer. Yeah. They just wanted to come in with an offer. And basically, it was just something to make them look good. But like I said, they were not even emotionally available. They just tried to come in for, how do you, how do you say it nicely? To knock their rocks off. To get what, what they wanted and to be gone. To come in, wham, bam, maybe thank you, ma'am, and be done with it. But somebody wasn't playing that. They thought that you was dumb. They thought that you was stupid. They thought that you could not see how they were really trying to work with you. They wasn't really trying to work with you, work with you. But they thought, this person, they'll never be able to figure it out. I'm so smooth. But somebody was talking about another person, another, another, another person, somebody else, maybe that they hadn't let go of. And they're very fond of that person. And they talk about how this person, you know, how they, this person, this, this person, that, this person, this, this person, that. Maybe they had to leave or the other person left them, but they've clearly not gotten over that committed relationship. They clearly have not gotten over that relationship. Even if someone did leave, they never left in their heart. Can't make this up. They never left. Even if someone else did leave, they didn't. Yeah, so they've just here been single, you know, going around town, acting all immature, trying to have some flighty action, trying to, Get in, get out, get in, get out. But they, they're finding out now that that's not where it's at. They're going to have to stop that because they're finding out now that that's actually keeping them stuck. That is actually keeping them stuck. That's keeping them in a perpetual 
broken heart situation because everyone can see you are not emotionally available. So what self-respecting human adult is going to get involved with someone else who's not emotionally available? It's like they, they just want someone else at their side as a placeholder. They just want somebody at their side as a placeholder until they can get this other person back. And they're just sitting there waiting, 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 trying to be patient, saying, I know that if I'm, if I'm patient long enough, that person will come back to me. The real person that I want. And then their idea was to drop whoever and go off and be with the new, the person that they really wanted. The person that they have not let go of emotionally. But this person is a fool. This person is a fool. And this person thought that someone else could not see that. They're a fool. Not just a fool. Not bright. And they thought that you was dumb. They thought that you was they thought that you was simple minded. Yeah. Princess of Cups and the Four of Cups. They thought that you was immature, young, looking up at them like, oh the star, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. And that you were simple minded. Oh what? One plus one really is two? And you said, I remember, I remember. And two plus two is four. Four plus four is eight. You know, they thought that you was dumb. They really thought that shit. Only to find out that they was the one that was stupid. They was ignorant. They was immature. They're the ones who are the fool. What's the message, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah. They're the ones that's that's a fool. Because the whole time they're sitting here talking about, you know, they're, they're, they're trying to let, like love bomb you, trying to get you in some type of situation, you know, coming out, talking about some, it's like they want to talk about marriage right away. They want to try and talk about some higher level of commitment right away. So that when they're talking about the higher level of commitment that you, they're talking about with you, you're not going to pay too much about this other commitment that they don't have anymore with someone else who walked away. But they're trying to get them back. They think that they're smart. They think that they can run game because that was their really their their plan but their plan is just to kind of you know keep you to the side keep you as an extra you know do little things for you but don't get too close don't don't be too available to you don't do too much just do just enough to kind of keep you hooked to keep you coming back to keep you thinking that you're going to be with somebody what else? Oh, I'm not taking all of those. But something didn't turn out right. Something did not turn out right. We got the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. Exactly. Something didn't turn out right. The Queen of Cups, she put her guard up. She put her guard up. She said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and put myself on the market again. Because apparently you got some shit going on that I don't know about and I don't necessarily want to know about. So I'm going to take my cup, my emotions. I'm going to turn my back on you. I'm going to put my guard up. I'm going I'm to keep you out. And I'm going to go get my Stella got her groove back on with somebody else. I'm going to do me. That's what I'm going to do. It's like somebody else, yeah. They thought that the wheel of fortune was turning in their favor because they thought, all I got to do is just keep this little secret. That's all I got to do is just keep 
this little secret. I'm going to act like we together, but I'm really going to act like I'm really single with the Nine of Pentacles and go around, you know, with this little wand of mine, trying to stick it in, stick it in any and everything, thinking that that's going to give me my wish fulfillment until I can really get what I want. Let me know how that worked out for you, dude. Or female, or person, whoever. Let me know how that worked out for you. While you sitting here purposely thinking that you out slicking the universe. Out slicking the universe now, trying to play with someone else's emotions until your little, what, thingamit, wingy wing, or cookie snatcher is with the one that you want to be with? Guess what? Check this out. The one that you're trying to play someone else to be with, the one that you are tying up someone else's time and energy as a placeholder because you're really wanting to get with this one over here, the one that you're actually no longer with, guess what? Check this out. Are you holding that placeholder? If God wanted you to be with that person, don't you think that you would be with that person? Don't you think that y'all would be together? Do you think that you would have to have that placeholder for that person? No. That person would be with you. But the fact that that person is not with you and you still trying to hold the placeholder for that person I think you should work on you. Work on that, on being that single person that you want to be, that you were professing to be, that you're trying to be. What else, Spirit? Thank you. That way you don't put yourself in any precarious predicaments where you it comes to find out you were just playing with someone's emotions. Thinking that, you know, you're you're acting like you're offering them something, uh, something serious, something special, something spectacular, but you're not coming in balanced. You're not coming in balanced. And it's clear and apparent what you're doing and you're and you're receiving judgment because of it. If people are walking away and they're talking about this relationship that you are really secretly working on the one that you're really upset about because it didn't work out, you go be with that person. But as far as you feeling like it's okay for you to hold a marker, no. Like I said, this is clear and apparent. Judgment has already been called on this person. I'm not going to say that they used my the favorite word, bye motherfucker. But they used something along that lines where they was like, no, this is not working for me. And like I said, because yeah, this, they could see that this person was acting like they were single. They're just trying to go out there and slang. Slang dick, slang whatever, hoonanny, whatever. But what they don't know, what they do not know, is the, re is the fact that when they try to play with your emotions, they try to play on your mind, they tried to play with your intelligence. When they attempted to play with your intelligence, they sealed their fate. They sealed their fate. At that point, that's whenever they realized who you were. And that somebody else and not only did they realize who you were, but then they re looked at themselves and they said, you know what, I've been doing nothing but playing games. With the emperor and the magician. They was trying to come in as an emperor playing games with somebody's emotions and somebody's heart. Thinking something was getting ready to work out, but it didn't. Because somebody brought it up to their attention. You know what, motherfucker, this is what you're doing. Maybe, maybe they did use the word motherfucker. I don't know. But somebody said that to them. 
and it was and, and this person was shocked they were shocked they was like wait what you are you i mean i'm not wait I'm not, that is. they're shocked they don't know what to say and whatever they are saying is not making sense when it comes out bottom of the deck high priestess they i'm telling you they thought that you was dumb they didn't think that you had the gifts of nothing they thought she don't know ain't nobody in my head they don't know what i'm thinking they can't feel what i'm feeling i can say whatever the fuck i want to say they'll never know i guess they found out huh because they somebody put an end to a situation not only did she put an end they put an end to a situation but they told you about yourself They told you all about yourself. And that's justice. Because like I said, they know when somebody's trying to play game, trying to run game, trying to do mind game, emotional game, monopoly game, card game, dominoes game, jump rope game. They know about games now. They know about games. They ain't recognize game. Pimp recognize another pimp. Player recognize another player. Okay. What else? But yeah, somebody told them about themselves. This is that person who told them about themselves. Whoever she is or he is, somebody said put a put a straight. They was like, no, hell no. Let me tell you something. I can tell you trying to keep me mixed up, but the confusion ain't about to happen. I'm going to need you to take your confused, derelict ass and get the fuck on somewhere. Take your whatever you, you thought that you was getting ready to play in my energy. You thought you was getting ready to play in my emotional space, in my mind, in my heart. I see what you're doing. I see exactly what you're doing. So it's like, get the fuck on. Get the fuck on with yourself. Bye. What else, spirit? What else did this person say? Yeah, somebody was like, mm-mm. I don't know what games you playing, but you don't want to play my game. You know? Somebody who is, yeah, and it's like somebody going to, they came in offering just a little bit. That's it. Like, you didn't know what your value was, but you know what your value is. You know what your worth is. That's why you said, oh, oh hell no. That person came in, and it was really immature. Really immature. It's like they, they was just a, a child. It was just a child inside their head. And they, like I said, yeah, they came in offering you laugh, wanting to hold back, you know. And then on top of that, they thought that they was getting ready to do some raw diggity shit on you. They thought that they was just going to come in, give you some crumbs, give you a little bit of crumbs, you know, make you feel kind of insecure, tell you about how they're going to do all of this for you to try and make it seem like you're dependent on them. And then there's going to do some raw diggity dog shit on you. But it didn't work. You saw through that shit. And they were shocked. They didn't know that you, they thought that you was bullshitting. About what you can see and energy and things that you may have shared with them. They thought that you was bullshitting. Not anymore. They don't think that now. Now they know that's the, that shit is the truth. And they figuring out how you figured the shit out. How you figured that they was trying to get you in this lover's position and then they was going to just leave. Overburden. Breadcrumb you. That's going to make it seem like y'all had something special going on. And then they was going to try and leave you for dead.
Ain't that something? But you, but your spirit guys was like, hold up, motherfucker. Spirit, show me, show me what, what else this next, this, this next step that this person who saw these red flags is getting ready. Yeah, this person saw the red flags. They, you can't make this up. This person saw the red flags and the immaturity of this person. They saw how immature that person was. And this, they didn't say, she didn't say anything. He or she didn't say much, but they looked. They noted. And they kept it to themselves. And they could see it's like this person was trying to Make it seem like they were offering more to do more, but they were trying to keep you off balance at the same time. You know, like uh, how you give someone a backwards, a backhanded compliment. You know, one of those things of, oh my gosh, I love how your hair looks. Although I wouldn't have put mine up there like that, but it looks good like that on you. You know, you got you got the you got the head for that type of haircut. Do you know how somebody gives you a backwards hand a compliment and you like, wait a minute. Was this person trying to bring me down or was this person trying to give me joy? This person is in that, those backward hand of com, uh, comments, compliments, that type of shit. But someone saw that, they, you know, it was like, no. First thing out their mouth was this shit is over. First thing out their mouth was, yeah, and you can take that shit on somewhere else because, like I said, this person thought that you was a fool. And that's the truth. They thought that you was either a fool or just straight up foolish, only to come to find out that person was straight up dumb. An ignorant ass white. That person is the equivalent of used toilet paper that you used to wipe when you had mud butt. And they kept it and put it in their pocket. That person is just like that type of dumb thinking that you was dumb. Because any intelligent person knows. Sometimes you don't judge a book by its cover. Sometimes you sit back and you... Allow that person to talk and to speak so that you can make a judgment. But instead, this person, the one who thought they was running some type of slick game, they're the ones who came in doing all the talking. They did all the talking. And what they talked about, they talked about they slangy slang, they thangy thang, they wangy wang. And they probably talked about this other person that they that they trying to really get with. But you allow that person to do all the talking. And that's whenever you was able to make your decision because you saw through to the truth. You saw what this person was about. You saw what this person was trying to do. You saw how this person was trying to keep you stuck. You saw that. Now this person is like, oh my gosh, I can't believe him. I, what am I going to do? There was nobody else that I was, you know, like this person is uh, codependent. This person is codependent. Six of coins and a judgment. Yeah. And they're going to try and come back. They're going to try and and make this right. They're going to try and say, well, wait a minute. I, I see the error of my ways now. I want to, let me give to you. Let me do better. Let me, let me actually put in. Let me be sincere. Let me do this. Let me do that. But if you do, you're going to find yourself trapped in the same situation that they was trying to trap you in, in the beginning. Put your hand over your cup of love. Protect your heart. Protect your heart. Protect yourself. And defend yourself. 
because you already know this person is is looking at someone else like they are the prize and this is someone that they've known from a, a they got history with this person and they're looking at that person like they the prize they got history with that person so do yourself a favor and stay clear exercise sound judgment yep exercise sound judgment that's going to pull some from the stack and we're going to close it down something about your security you know and maybe this person isn't as secure as they want to come off as confirmation this person is not as secure and when i'm talking about security I, we already know that this person is not confirmation is not emotionally secure within themselves could be someone's son then we already know that this that some of this person is not emotionally secure but they may not also be financially secure something about i didn't ask for your two cents you know, and maybe this is somebody something that somebody said, you know, if they was, you know, trying to, you know how people, they, they, they like to uh, talk. Some people like to talk about their exes. Like, if I talk to you about my ex, you'll see how over I am of them. No, if you're talking about your ex, that means you ain't, un, un, you ain't over them. You need to become unstuck. You need to start moving. Because somebody, the way that they're doing it is like, they have, they given you the, these creepy, creeper vibes, you know, like somebody is stuck in their ego or pride because it's like they, they just talking about this relationship that they used to have, you know, but now they see that you grew up, you, they see that you are grown and you ain't even about that bullshit. And you let that person know now this person want to come with some type of sincere apology, trying to show some emotion. But you already saw it. And once you see it, you cannot unsee it. Once you know it, you can't unknow it. You know, now they want to push the panic button. Now they want to say, oh man, I need to come in with some new shit. Now I need to do something different. Now I need to do this. Now I need to do that. Now blah, 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 blah. You know? Could be something with uh uh the emperor who's noticing a huge energy shift possibly because this person is really just a clout chaser that's it they upset but didn't call you a liar so this person is they 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 mad because you said something they mad that you said something that you brought it up how are you going to bring up becky and the fact that i keep talking about how she's Cooks these, these award-winning chocolate chip cookies. I don't care that I've been away from Becky for 10 years and she cooks these award-winning chocolate chip cookies and, da, 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 and I don't like her no more. But I got a cookie a tattoo for every time she won an award. So look at all my tattoos of cookies. I... But they're not calling you a liar. They're not saying, I'm not with that. I'm not with that woman. No, I ain't thinking about that. You know what, baby? If you don't want me to talk about Becky no more, that bitch is gone. That bitch is the fuck gone. In fact, that name won't even be allowed at this, but this motherfucking house no more. But instead, that person didn't do that. They was like, I could talk about Becky if I want to. You can't make me not talk about Becky. Because Becky would never do that. Because they see that Becky is their motherfucking true love. That's why they need to go find Becky. There's something like about the last holiday that just passed. That could have been with Becky. You know? Could have been with Becky. And maybe that's what they was talking about. And maybe at one point they was married to the love of their life. Becky. No offense to any Becky's or Rebecca's. That's watching. I'm just using the name. Just using the name. What else, spirit? You know, something about somebody needs to do some serious changes. I saw that change card. 
Somebody needs to do some serious sit down thinking about some shit and changing if they want something. If not, continue to do what you do. But whatever it was, that was not cool. You sitting there talking about Becky all the time and you and Becky ain't even together. Sharon don't want to hear about Becky. Celeste don't want to hear about Becky. Andrea don't want to hear about Becky. Mary don't want to hear about Becky. Karen don't want to hear about Becky. Even the other Becky don't want to hear about Becky. Okay, you need to leave that shit alone. Because that shit that you had with Becky, that shit is over. You know? That shit was over. Here come Becky. Past love returns. Here she come. But see, Becky, he didn't realize that that uh, uh, that Becky was part of some some little witch thing, you know. That 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 she was part of some little covet, you know. She had, or and, and it gave him and her some desire, insatiable desire to cause havoc in people's lives. You know, something about somebody was told. Somebody's son was was told, don't ever delight in another person's downfall. But something about some judgment day and someone has a free spirit and they're also going to be receiving some new love. Because whatever that person was trying to get you involved in, stuck in, that's over. Not only is that one over, but the relationship that they had with Becky is over. And that person needs to, that needs to understand that don't nobody want to hear about no fucking ex. Say it once and leave that shit alone. Now somebody is paranoid about that whole situation because you're di you're different and you're unique. And they're paranoid because your trust is now gone. You can't trust them. You know? Maybe something about somebody's sister stealing something, you know, but now you can't trust them. So back to work. This person got to go back to the drawing board to see who else they can come up on. Who else want to go out with them? Who else want to hear about Becky, 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 this, Becky, that, Becky, Becky, Becky. And did you know Becky used to wear her hair like that? Oh, Becky only likes one spoon, one spoon full of sugar in her tea. Oh, Becky, her car is blue, you know? Someone needs to let go of all the resentment, you know? And now that somebody understands that some shit is over because don't nobody want to hear about Becky's ass, and you trying to get somebody involved in some shit, and now you, they gone, you know? It's almost like some type of the Wheel of Fortune is turning around for this person. You know, and, and, and this person now has a whole new understanding of the word friends. You know, certain friends don't want to hear about certain shit, especially if you're trying to make them more than friends. They're illuminated now that you are a star. And they wondered, where were you going? Where are you going? The game is just getting started. Somebody wants to try and impress you with some riches. And they don't even have any riches. And they want to know where you're going. The game is just getting started. You ain't, that's the whole thing. You was never playing a game. That's how you can tell this person is young, dumb, and immature. Because they was playing a game. Adults, grown-ups, they don't have time to play games. Not unless it's like a board game. Hot, hopscotch, you know, double dutch, something like that. Those. This person said, I know you had to walk away. You know? Something about somebody didn't ask for your no two cents. They didn't ask for they didn't ask for something. And now they upset that they told you. I didn't ask for your two cents. Now they upset that they said that to you. Because the Holy Spirit, once they uh, once they unleashed on you, that Holy Spirit came into the house to take care of the Holy Spirit's child. All right. Yep. Because somebody was watching some disillusionment TV, they could see right through the fog, this person, you know, and they, they see that they did a lot behind the scenes, you know, 
they thought that you was the joke. Like I said, someone thought that you was dumb. They thought, they grouped you in with all the other young, dumb, full of cum people that they had messed with. And they thought, birds of a feather will always flock together. But they saw that you were unique and different. And now they see that their time is up. Yep. They are a firm believer now. Now they believe in, and they should have just let you say what the hell you wanted to say and they should have respected that shit. Because, trust me, he didn't want to hear about Roger. Don't nobody want to hear about the other persons. You want to talk about Becky all the damn time? Talk about Becky all the damn time. But you know it's all it's all good in the hood. It's all goody in the hoodie whenever the other person that you're talking to Becky about start talking about Roger and how Roger could slain. How Roger could put it down. How nobody was better than Roger. How Roger had that. I mean, Roger could do something. You don't want to hear all that shit. So why the fuck would you be sitting there talking about Becky this and Becky that? Becky, Becky, Becky. Whenever Roger is like Roger and you like this. You see what I'm saying? Why put yourself out there? Why play yourself? When it comes time to you to try to talk about your ex, spirit says, talk about it? Fuck no. Somebody needed to have some inner fortitude and some strength to overcome some obstacles that they were involved in. They got a message about you clearly that you ain't for the shit. You ain't for it. You know, you, you tell this person, I hope that you heal yourself. But baby, I am a demon slayer. You need to try a different kind of approach, of communication style, of healing. You need to try a different kind of something. Because somebody has that victim mentality. That's why they keep talking about Becky, 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 Becky. Becky. Becky, 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 Becky. Don't I want to hear about Becky? Bruh, shut the fuck up. Like, shut the fuck up. Take your hand off of your own dick and put it up on the table. Put both of them on the table and talk about something else. Someone don't, didn't realize that you were of divine lineage. And you can predict the future. Because you are one with yourself. What else, Spirit? Anything else? Anything else? Yeah. Somebody is a king or a queen. You know how to lead. Your skills are improving. And you are a new world traveler. And you are enjoying your life. And this person that 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 was it's in this victim mode and everything else and trying to, to have all these excuses, the devil said, "Don't blame him for the stupid shit that you did. Don't blame him for you not knowing how to shut the fuck up when you should have shut the fuck up. Don't blame him for you not getting over what you needed to get over when you should have got over it instead of you trying to bring somebody else into some toxic ass." situation that you don't even intend to stay in you know somebody needed to understand that it's not about them it's about all of us it's about all of us we all in this together so if you playing games with my heart 
And then I go around because I got hurt and I go play games with your with someone else's heart and then they get hurt and they go play a game with someone else's heart. You know, it's a it's a it's a cycle. And at some point we have to break that cycle. At some point we have to see that somebody they don't they ain't coming to us with, with all truth and clarity. They're coming to us with some bullshit. We have to see that. And we have to shut it down. We can't play no games of, you know, you tell them once and they, they act like, oh, yeah, yeah. They hear you, but they don't hear you. You don't tell them again. You tell them once they act like they don't hear you, you go the fuck away. They'll hear that. The silence is loud. Silence is the loudest noise that you could ever, ever, ever expect to hear. But you telling somebody two and three and four and 12 times, they don't hear that shit. You tell them one good time, that second time, don't say shit else. Just bless them with your absence. That's how we stop those cycles. Those toxic, harmful, hurtful cycles. So whoever this dude was who thought that he was playing some game, dude, all you did was play yourself. If you have not had an opportunity to subscribe, please do so. I am trying to reach 2,000 sub subscribers, and I'm so close. But let me let you know, I do appreciate everyone. If you email me, I email you back. If you comment, I call man back. Even if you need to call, I give you my number. I'm out here trying to build a soul family. And I'd love for you to be a part of it. Thank you. I love you all. And I'll talk with you soon.